Okay, Phil, uh, I want to make this um, video clip to show you the baffle that I cut out um, in my sump. So, right here, you will see the first baffle, right? It is about um, two to three inches from the top of my tank. I, could, I mean, I got a big sump that I'm working with. So, here is the look of the baffle from the cross section. So here's the first baffle. Here's the top of my here's the top of my sump right here, right? And here is the baffle glued all the way down um, to about one inch from the bottom of my tank. The second baffle is glued to the bottom of my sump, right? This is the baffle that you currently have in place right now, and, it, and mine extends up to right here which is lower than this baffle here. So this is where my water flows over to my filter pad right here, as you can see it, right? So from the top view, let me go back up, you will see, uh, let me get this out of the way, you will see here is the top of the second baffle, right? It stops right here, then I cut down. So you see that I, I have this piece cut out right here, so it gives me that like a six inch part with the water. Here's the water right here, so the water flows through right here. So your second baffle is high like this, so you're gonna keep it high like here, and then you're gonna go down, you're gonna cut out this little piece right here. I hope you can see this. So the second baffle has a cut from here down to the water level, so the water flows just through the section here, not over this high piece here. Um, and then also, I want to go back down here again so you can see, you know, so you can see the water actually dripping on the bio balls right here, you know, from the drip plate up here. So here's my drip plate running across here, right? Here's the water dripping on my bio balls, right? What's left in my sump. Here's the grate at the bottom. Here is the water levels right here all the way down to the bottom of my sump, right? If you look all the way across the bottom of my sump, my return pump is over to the side somewhere down here. Um, I hope you can see this, Phil. Um, but again, here is the water level in my sump at the bottom of the grate, right? So, so it's about, from here to the bottom for me is about maybe five or six inches. So all this is water right here. Here's the water line right here. Here's the dry bio balls here. Here's the water dripping on them. Here's my drip plate up here. The water flows over here. It, it, it goes down from my skimmer section. So here's my skimmers right here, right? Those are my skimmers. Here's my water level in my, in my skimmer. My water level, so that, you know, it's about 15 inches of water from the very bottom up to here it's about 15 inches so the water goes down right under this baffle here comes up and then flows over onto my filter pad right and again you can see the bio balls which is above the water line here here's the drip plate here's the water line here bio balls are dry well you know I mean they're out of the water and the water, you can see that you can see the water dripping on the you know dripping on the bio balls here from the drip plate. So let me just go back up to the top again. Here's my filter pad. Right? You can see the water. Oh, this is a good shot. So here's the first baffle right here. I have a piece of sponge here to catch any kind of debris. You know, so between my two baffles here, Phil, it's about an inch between these two baffles, or an inch and a half if you want to make it, you know, between the, the first baffle and your second baffle. So this baffle is what you have in place right now, right? So what I did is, I cut down, you can see the, the cut right down, two or three inches down to me, and across six inches, you know? Um, I hope this helps, Phil. Um, you know, this, again, is the sump design. Um, I just want to show you quickly, the back end of my sump. Let me get a flashlight here so I can shine it on it. Um, 
here is the back end of my sump right this is the you know it's all the top is here it only extends down about eight inches to the water level so it doesn't go to the bottom of my tank and that's the bottom that's the back side of the of the sump box that I built so um, so Phil that's just an, again you know I hope this this video clip helped you somewhat in, in, in getting your stuff straightened out. Talk to you later. Bye.